hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dolly pash in the building if you're new here hey and if you've been here before welcome back so as you guys can see by the title your girl did a little install on herself so if you would like to see how i achieved this look please keep on watching and before the video is over or anything like that make sure to please subscribe to my channel like down below comment down below tell me how you feel do you guys even like these videos do you like how to and make a videos for me or do you more so like my vlogs and my travel things which i know you do but we still trying to you know test the water but yeah so here's my first how to um hair video i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into it hey guys so it's my first time doing one of these voiceover things but Hey, I'm installing my wig today. As you see, I have my cap on my head and I already glued the cap down. And now what I'm doing is cutting off around my edges. So basically, I spray got to be um, on my hairline and then I just now cut the excess, um, the excess cap off of my hair, basically. Yeah, you wanna cut around your ears, always make sure to make a hole for both of your ears to fit in between so that when the cap is drying it lays flat by the air area so this is what we're doing here now this is really funny hearing myself on this recorded voice thing lol lol bear with me y'all so now i'm gonna take my needle and my thread and i'm going to sew the back down to you know make sure the cap stays down when you put the wig on top so that your cap is not like moving all over the place i don't know if you know how to sew or you know how to put in your bundles but it's the same way you basically put your thread through you wrap around your thread two or three times to make to create a knot when you then pull your needle and your thread all the way through I'm gonna try to keep the words very minimal so I do not lose you guys in this whole process but yeah so so far we have glued our cap down and now we're sewing the back of our cap we have also cut around our hairline to make that hairline effect with the cap always cut the end and leave some string left over so that you can tie it to make sure that that isn't going anywhere so now it's time for us to put foundation powder anything on your cap your girl was jamming oh i was jamming y'all too hard but okay so Basically, you put foundation, your color, you know, you can use foundation, you can use concealer, you can use powder, whatever you want that constructs of your color and you now rub it all over your ball cap. So you want to rub it everywhere and make sure that you're covering all areas that you'll see apart. Then I'll go in with my glue and I'll start with my first layer creating dot like pattern on the hairline. And I use the end of my rat tail comb and I just spread it out. So I like to spread it out. I like to do half side, one half of my head first and then do the other half because, you know, glue does dry. And I just want everything to be perfect. So while I'm, you really don't want to put glue on top of each other without it drying and turning clear. So while I wait for one side to dry, that's when I do the other side. So it's like creates a system to where I'm still allowing everything to dry. And I do this process about three times depending, you know, on the glue sometimes or the type of wig I'm installing. But yeah, I'll do this process three times to where I am applying dot like pattern glue on my hairline so then you also want to get some on your actual skin just a little bit but you want to have majority of your glue on your cap so i think this is the third time we're about to go in and do it and then at the end you want to just leave a couple minutes for all the glue to actually fully dry you want to see no white at all like no white whatsoever
Okay, so now we fully have a dry hairline with glue applied to it. You see how there is no white at all going on. So this is my first mess up of this install. I forgot to tint my lace um, because as you see, this wig has been worn prior. So I forgot to put some lace tint. So my hairline will come off looking a little brighter than my skin. That's my bad, but it doesn't change the concept of this video. So here I'm putting my wig on my head. Y'all saw how I just pulled it over and now I'm just matching the hairline of the wig with my actual hairline and the um, ball cap. And then I'm going in with my rat tail comb and I'm pressing the lace inside of the glue. Um, so you see you want to adjust it. Just make sure that you're getting it right to exactly how you want it. But the goal basically is to place and use your rat tail comb to then press the lace inside of the glue to make it become one. So now I'm going to take my glue and I'll squirt a little bit of the glue on like a piece of paper or whatever's around me honestly. Um, and this is to complete glue in the cap. So I get my rat tail comb, I dip it inside of the glue and then you see how I'm going to then lift the lace a little bit where it's lifted and apply that glue. So you know when you put your first layer of glue all that stuff there's no measurement to see the exact you know where the wig's gonna go where the glue needs to go all that sort so around your hairline typically the glue probably won't be there um so this is a way of being able to like perfect detailing you know not just plopping a whole bunch of glue on your head so basically i use the end of the rat tail comb and i apply a glue to wherever the lace is still lifted a little bit this doesn't always happen Typically, it don't happen with um, newer laces. This is just because my lace was used before. But with newer laces, when you apply that lace down, you're basically cutting the excess lace off. So all of this lace that was kind of hanging would have probably been cut off with a new wig. But that's not the case with this. So here you just want to basically go through and apply glue on the end of your rat tail comb wherever you may need it. So next it's time to pull our baby hairs out. Of course this wig has been worn like I mentioned. So there's already pre-created baby hairs. With it being a lace of course you know hair falls out whatever the case may be. So I may have to add a little bit more hair from the hairline you know to then create a better baby hair effect. But I'm just pulling all of this out so that when I do lay my lace down it will dry in such a slayed and amazing way. So I'm just playing around with it, you know, baby hairs is actually something really hard to get, you know, the concept and the hang of it. So I'm just playing around with it, trying to see exactly where I want it to be. I'm using my matchstick and I'm also using my hot comb to then push all the hair back. You want it to look like no flyaways. That's what gives it that perfect sleek look is to make sure that you have no flyaways. So I have tied my baby hairs and my lace down and now I'm just going in with the good old straightener. It's a baby bliss straightener. I think it's 2.5 inches. I'm not too sure. But yeah, y'all know how y'all know how this go. Okay. I like to use the track um, trace method. I know some people really don't care for it, but I don't know. I don't even know if I really feel like it does make a difference. It does make a difference. I wouldn't say it's a huge difference, but it makes a difference. Um, so yeah, what the trace method is basically when you put your hot comb or your straightener on the hair and you trace it with a rat tail comb, making sure that all the hairs is going in the same direction and staying straight. Um, I must have been running my mouth. Why is my face like that? Girl, smile. <laughs> but no, yeah, so I straightened this whole head. going 
going in with the straightener my baby hairs and the lace had some time to sit y'all look at it like it's giving scalp unfortunately the lace is balding in the front so it wasn't really giving as much scalp as it really 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 needs to be but trust me y'all all my clients i be giving them scalp all the time okay and yeah it's just better when this is why some stylists just don't like to use wigs that have already been used it's kind of just really honestly better using fresh wigs but yeah so typically i take um my small straightener you guys see me playing with it i guess it blew out on me or died um, but I typically take it and I curl the baby hair pieces up. And so I'm trying to achieve that with this hot comb. Um, that gives it the perfect baby hair look. Like the swoops, girl. That will have your swoops, I mean, swoop-in. And I also like to use a razor blade to cut off the excess hair. Um, I just find it that it gives it a more clean, nice effect. this ended up being the final look y'all i loved it so much like it's been a while i had a wig on my head because i rarely wear wigs but yeah this is how i install my wigs if you guys really enjoyed this video please comment down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up and like i always say subscribe 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 i love you guys so much thank you for stopping by and i'll see you in a next video bye guys